Hey everyone, this is Jared. I'm here to show you how to set up your Ingenious EAP 3660 Long Range Wireless Multifunction Access Point. The first thing you'll want to do is find somewhere to place the EAP 3660. Once you've selected your location, simply screw in the bottom plate with the provided screws. Then plug in the AC power supply and Ethernet cable into the bottom of the EAP 3660. When you're configuring your device, make sure that the Ethernet cable is also connected to your PC or laptop. Finally, attach the EAP3660 to the bottom plate. Ensure that the device locks into place by twisting it to the right. You've now successfully installed your hardware. In order to log into the device, you'll need to configure the TCP IP settings of your PC or notebook. On the control panel for your PC, double click on Network Connections. Next, click on Manage Network Connections from the left-hand menu. Then right-click on Local Area Connection and select Properties from the drop-down menu. Select Internet Protocol, TCP IP, and then click on the Properties button. Select the Use the Following IP Address Radio button and then enter the IP address 192.168.1.2.1. And subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Please ensure that the IP address and subnet mask are on the same subnet as the EAP3660. To log into your EAP3660 from a web browser, simply put in the IP address of the access point. The default address is 192.168. Dot one, dot one, into your address bar. When the login box appears, type admin for both the username and password and click OK. Click on the administration link under the management menu. This option will allow you to create a new username and password. This is highly recommended for security purposes. Once you've entered your username and password, click on the apply button and save your changes. To configure the device as an access point or a repeater, click on the System Properties link on the System drop-down menu. Enter the name of the device. This is not the SSID. This name is for monitoring and identifying your device through network management software. Select your country region from the drop-down menu and then select your operation mode. Click Apply to save your changes. To set up your wireless network settings, click on the wireless network link under the wireless drop-down menu. Specify your wireless mode as either B, G, or B and G mixed. We recommend using B and G mixed. Select a channel from the drop-down list. Channels available are based on the country's regulation. The preferred method is to check the auto checkbox. To set up your wireless network name, security settings, VLAN ID, or user isolation, click the edit button. To change your wireless SSID name, enter a new SSID name in the dialog box under SSID option. If you have VLAN enabled tagging on your network, specify the VLAN tag ID under the VLAN ID option. To suppress an SSID so that wireless clients will not be able to scan it in a site survey, click on the Suppressed SSID option. To disable clients connected to an access point from communicating with one another, select the Station Separator option. To set your wireless security mode, select either WEP, WPA, WPA PSK, WPA2, WPA2 PSK, or WPA Mixed under the Security Mode drop down menu. We recommend using WPA2 PSK option if you want the most secure wireless network. Enter your desired password under the Passphrase option. Click Apply to save your changes. If you want to increase or adjust your wireless coverage area, Select Wireless Advanced Settings located in the Wireless section. Select the Transmit Power option. Click Apply to save your changes. To configure your LAN interface using a static IP 
or as a DHCP client, click the IP settings link on the system drop down menu. Under IP network setting, select the obtain an IP address automatically DHCP radio button if the access point is connected to a DHCP server. This will allow the access point to get an IP address automatically from the DHCP server. Select the Specify an IP Address radio button if you'd like the device to use a static IP address. If you select this option, you'll be required to specify an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway IP address. We recommend using a static IP for this device. Click Apply to save your changes. To set up your device as a wireless repeater, select the System Properties selection under the System menu. Then select Repeater for the Operation Mode. Next, click on the Site Survey button on the Wireless Network setting under the Wireless section. From the result list, select the SSID you want to connect to by clicking on the BSSID field. If encryption is enabled on your main AP, then you will need to enter your password. Enter your password and click Apply. Adjust the transmit power option for a larger coverage area. If everything is running correctly, you want to change your computer's IP back to automatic. Your computer should now receive an IP address from your DHCP server. Your configuration should be complete.